Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some design ideas that you can create by twisting stitches. For this example, I'm going to transfer to have three needles in action and one needle out of action across. I'm going to make sure this needle will stay out of action for the entire sample because I want to create ladders here. I'm just going to need a few rows. And now using the three prong tool, I'm going to grab the three stitches and I'm going to twist them like so and place them back on the needles. Now I'm going to skip these three stitches and I'm going to do the next ones. To ensure that there are no drop stitches when you do this technique, you can pull the needles all the way out when you transfer them back, but just push them like so so they are not in the way when you are doing the next ones. So again, I'm skipping three and I'm twisting. So you can see I'm twisting to the left, but you can choose to twist to the right, whichever way you prefer. Imagine if we leave this out when we are twisting the next ones, the needles are kind of in the way, so we can just push them. I'm going to knit four rows. And I'm going to repeat the same on the stitches that we skipped previously. And again, knit four rows. And now I'm going to repeat the same like I did eight rows ago. I'm going to twist the first stitches here. Skip three. Knit four more rows. So there will always be eight rows in between every twist. And we are alternating the sections. I'm just alternating them like that because if I would twist every single section, every four rows or every eight rows, there is a risk that the yarn will snap.
Here's the finished sample. They do look a little bit like cables. And for this sample, I use lamb's wool. So once I wash it, it will fluff up a little bit. So it wouldn't be so see-through if I want to wear it more towards the winter or autumn. For the next example, again, I have three needles in action and one out of action across. And I'm going to begin on this side here and I'm going to twist to the left. And I'm also going to grab the last three stitches here and I'm going to twist them to the right. I'm going to need two rows and we'll continue and I'm going to grab the next three stitches this time. Again, twist to the left. And then not the last ones, but the next ones. Twist to the right. Knit two rows. And with every twist, we are moving closer to the center of the sample. And for the last ones, things might get a little bit tight here, but if your yarn is strong enough, it shouldn't snap, hopefully. I'm not going to pull the needles out this time, I'm just going to leave them like that, but I'm making sure that the stitches are not dropping. So I twist it to the left and now I'm going to twist to the right. And it's two more rows. I'm going to repeat that. So start again from the edges. Here's the second version. This is one way you can have the twist next to each other, even though there's two rows difference between them. But if you want this angle to be more like that, you can always do four rows in between every twist. I know I haven't been posting loads of videos on YouTube lately, and that's because I've been working full time. However, I kept on posting pretty much every month one video on Patreon, and some of those videos are requests from my patrons some are other techniques that I developed and if you would like to check that out there is a link for my Patreon in the description down below that is a way for you to support my channel as well if you would like to and there's charts as well and if you have any questions you can always message me I'm happy to help thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy these techniques and I hope you will give them a try and if you do as always make sure to tag me on Instagram or Facebook and I will see you next time bye bye